When you get into disagreement with somebody, it opens the door for you to allow strife to come in. Welcome to A Father's Heart with Dr. Phil Godot, Dr. Brenda Godot. We are a family-friendly church that teaches the Word of God so you can live an effective Christ-centered life. This is where the Word works when you work the Word. And now, our A Father's Heart broadcast. Uh, the book of James. And uh, I've been pastoring uh, for 36 years. And uh, I, amen, amen, amen. 36 years, I went in, I went to a pastor's in the city uh, service this past weekend where that a local pastor died uh, and I had went to his church periodically when I was a kid and I thought that he had pastored a long time and he had been, and he, which he did, he pastored for 30 years. I sat there in his service and said, man, I've been pastoring six more years than my predecessor and somebody that I looked up to, I got six more years and then I, but, but, uh, then I pastor it. But you know, I've still got some more years I'm gonna do though, also. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and uh, so, but I, uh, I, I've, been, I've, I've been sort of plagued, right. I've been plagued with something uh, over my years of pastoring uh, concerning teaching people how to live by faith, how to walk in victory, understand their covenant, their authority, uh, righteousness, and all the different things that go along with the, with the word, and then still seeing a lot of people that I love, that I love God, but still dealing with some of the same things that people that don't know as much as you know. And, uh, and dealing with, uh, with sickness or disease, seem to can't get the healing, uh, dealing with financial issues, dealing with re interpersonal relationships, uh, marriage problems, divorces, uh, dealing with children. I mean, it just goes on and on. I said, God, I know your word is true. Right. And why is it not working for some of the people in the church uh, as it has for Brenda and I and other people? And then uh, <clears throat> I got this word from the Lord. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. If you're listening with both your ears, ask your neighbor, say, are you listening with both your ears right now? <clears throat> Amen. You know, there was a man, there was a, 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 a lawyer, a doctor, and a pastor that was out hunting. And while they was out hunting, uh, this big old buck ran across the thing, and they all shot at him, bang, 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 bang. And when he went down, they all kept saying, uh, I got him, I got him. The lawyer, the doctor, and the pastor were all arguing who got the, the buck. Well, the game warden came, and when the game warden came, he said, i settle the issue. I'll go and look at him, and I can tell you who got him. So he walked out there where this big buck was laying. He looked at him, examined him. He came back, he said, the pastor shot him. And they said, well, how do you know he shot him? Because he said it went in one ear and went out the other ear. <laughs> Amen. So turn your neighbor and say, don't let it do that to you. Don't let it do that to you. Don't let that happen. Because I'm going to tell you something. Today is a defining moment in your life. Today is a defining moment in your life. Hear me now. Today is a defining moment in your life. Today, you're going to walk out of here changed. You're going to walk out of here today and you're going to see God be able to do some things in your life he has not been able to do. Hear me now, as your man of God, as the prophet of this house, if you hear and you apply this word today, your life from this day forward, August the 14th, 2016, will never be the same again. And you ask God to give you ears to hear like you never heard before. Are y'all with me? Amen. Turn with me in your Bible to the book of James, uh, and James, the third chapter. 
And look with me in verse 16, James 3, 16. And um, then I'm going to, we're going to work this scripture over. Then after I finish working it over, then I'm going to tell you what I'm teaching on. Put it on the screen for me, James 3, 16. All right, let me go and read it. It says, for where the envying and strife is, there is what? Confusion and every evil work. For where there is envying and strife. Somebody say envying and strife. Envying and strife. It says there is, every, there is confusion and every evil work. Now, I just want to pause there for a minute because God's getting ready to change your life today. Where there is envying and what? Strife. Is. Is. Where it is, there is confusion and every evil work. Everything that the devil can throw at you, he has a right to throw it at you because there is a door now that has been opened and every evil work he can throw at you, he's going to throw it at you. Okay, let's look what the Amplified Bible says. Look what the Amplified Bible says. For wherever there is jealousy, envy, uh, contention, rivalry, and selfish ambitions, there will be also be confusion, unrest, disharmony, rebellion. Look what it says here and all sorts of evil and vile practices. Now turn to your neighbor to your right and left and ask them what part of that you don't understand. <laughs> ask them what part of that you do not understand. Every evil for wherever there is. For wherever there is. For wherever there is, is, Jealousy or envy or contention. Now, I was doing all right until they got it to the word contention. <clears throat> Anybody ever had contentions in here before? All of y'all raise your hands up right now. You all have had contentions. Huh? Some of y'all in contention right now with somebody. <laughs> For wherever there is contentions or rivalry, selfish ambition. Now, Brenda and I, you know, uh, unfortunately, we've had people who come to us like all of you basically have had too, and they didn't come to you because they was trying to help you. They came to you because they was trying to take advantage of you. They came to you with selfish ambitions. One of the things that a woman has to watch out for is a man who comes to her with selfish ambitions. Come on, ladies, talk to me right now. So you got to be real mindful and careful when people come into your life. We deal, we're talking about this is Friendship Sunday, and we're talking about when people come into your life, you just don't open the door real fast because everybody don't come with the right desires or things. And a lot of because of the world system, the world system is not about giving. The world system is about taking. And so you got to understand that some people will come to you with selfish ambitions. It's all about them. Come on, y'all. It ain't about you. It's about what they can get from you, well, how they can take advantage of you. That's why we're teaching this, because we have a heart to give. We, 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 we give, we do the right thing, so we're expecting people to do the same for us, because we have the heart. That's why he's telling us, just be, be careful and recognize the signs and when the different people come to you because everybody is not coming for the right things. Just because you're a giver and you, you just, just expect everybody to do like you do. If, that, if you're doing it the right way. See, yeah. see that's why being naive right. is, is, you know, the Bible says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right. But that ain't going to happen here no more. Not no more. Okay. So look, look, put it back on the screen for me. Put the scripture back on the screen. 
For wherever there is what? Jealousy. And? Envy. And? Contention. And rivalry and? Selfish ambition. There will be also be? Confusion. And? Unrest. And? Rebel. And? Rebellion. And? All sorts wow. of evil and vile practices. Turn to neighbor and say, God have mercy. God have mercy. There'll be all sorts of evil. Now, that answers a, answers a, a lot for me because, uh, and I want to I put that in the, um, either the message or the uh, Living Bible also. That answers a question to me why some people seem to can't get their healing, why some people can't maintain relationships why people go through divorces, why they have, and I'm not attacking nobody, I'm trying to help you right now. So don't, don't get offended when I'm trying to help you right now. Or why people have financial problems and all the other, get, all the things happen is because, listen to me, this is a big, big issue. This is a big issue. I'm telling you, you should thank God for the rest of your life that you was in this service today. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. It's a covenant benefit for every believer. Coming soon is our healing school with Dr. Brenda K. Godot, where she demonstrates Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Details coming soon. Are you looking to reboot and recharge during the week? Well, join Dr. Philip George Godot for his new Tuesday morning Bible study at 10 a.m. Take a break from your daily routine and dive into God's Word with our Tuesday morning Bible study with Dr. Godot. If you are going through tough times in your personal life and need someone to pray for you right now, call our prayer counselors. They are standing by waiting to speak with you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 800-299-0593. You don't have to deal with your problems alone. We are here to pray and agree with you that God will intervene on your behalf and turn your situation around. Or if you know someone who needs help, have them call our prayer team right now at 800-299-0593. We're here for you. Look what it says. Wherever there is, wherever you're trying to look better than others, or get the better of others. <laughs> Things fall apart and everyone ends up at a other's throats. Have y'all ever been in somebody's throat? Come on, this, this me by myself? Oh, okay. See, this has been, this message is so good for me. So I know if it's good for the brother, it's good for the sisters too. Amen. Amen. It's good for all Amen. of us. Yeah, I, like I was saying, we're, we're the givers, but the scripture is telling us when there's envy and strife and then there's disharmony and confusion and all that, that is your sign. So you might be a giver, you might be the one that, that, that trusts everybody, but when you start seeing these little signs, when you start seeing some jealousies coming up and some envying and all of a sudden there's all kind of disharmony and different things and you're like, that is your sign that there's a spirit of strife and you don't wanna allow yourself to get involved in this situation, you wanna recognize it Right. In other people as well as in yourself. Right, right. But there's some signs that'll that'll right. that'll point to it. But a lot of times we right. just want the relationship so bad. We just want to go along with things. But when that stuff starts showing up, there's strife, and along with that strife comes every evil work. Well, and the problem with selfish ambitions right. is that there a lot of people have. You know, we understand that selfishness starts. We we selfish from a, the gate. From the yeah, from a baby. As a child. Right. Exactly. A child is very selfish, Born and you've got to help that church grow that out of selfishness right. by teaching them how to share, right. how to give, right. because by nature, they, we don't want to share or give. We just want what we want. Right. When and, we want it. And so you should. How you, we want you, it. You know that because you, you, know you had nine kids in your family, so you know how, how know. that can be. I know. Right. Okay. Yeah. So 
uh, uh, give me, uh, that's the message, that's the one, okay, go with me to the Living Bible. Look at the Living uh, says here on the same scripture. Because this is a major thing, this is going to be a major transformation in your life today. For wherever there is what? Jealousy. And? Selfish ambition. Selfish ambition, here's again, there will, uh, there you will find disorder and what? Evil of every kind. Of every kind. Every kind. The enemy is stealing from you. Remember, Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So he, he's stealing from you. He's killing people dying prematurely, Christians dying prematurely before they should, dealing with sickness and disease that they should never have to deal with, financial problems, can't keep a job, can't keep a relationship. I'm talking to y'all. Yeah. Things happening in our life, and it's not because you don't love God. You know, you can love God and be in strife. Does that, does that sound too far out? You can love God and be in strife, have a problem, a odd, uh, be in contention with somebody else, though you love God. You know what you got to do? Ask me what you got to do. What you have to do. You got, okay, let me just tell you the title of my message first, okay? Let me tell you the title of my message. Fighting to keep strife out of your life. Come on. I got to learn how to, I got to do what? Fighting to keep strife out of your life. To turn your neighbor and shout that at him. Tell him you got to fight. Fight to keep strife. Fighting to keep, keep strife out of your life. Because how many of y'all have ever been in strife? Would you raise your hands up? Everybody raise your hands up. Or you're lying right now, okay? Or contentions, come on, y'all. And contentions. Uh, how many of y'all ever had anybody do you wrong? Well, I didn't have to ask no hands to go up on that one. I didn't have to ask no hands. I mean, oh, woo, yay! Huh? The enemy, contentions or People do you wrong. How many of you had somebody do you wrong and you wanted to get back at them? How many, I didn't ask how many of y'all still want to do that. <laughs> y'all hands went up pretty fast. But see, I had to deal with that area of being done wrong and still wanting to get back. I, I was hurt. I was done wrong. I was, uh, and, and I was, in the sense, or, or somebody tried to tell me I was wrong about something and I had to prove them right. And I got in contention while I'm trying to prove them right. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I got upset, got angry while I'm trying to tell them and, and, uh, and then end up losing some blessings because this is such a big thing of how the enemy comes in to steal, kill, and destroy, and how he robs us from so many blessings is because of the area of strife or contention in our life. So you gotta fight like hell to stay out of strife, like you would fight like hell to not to go. To hell. To hell. Does anybody understand what I'm talking about? Right. You gotta fight like it, because listen to me, when you're not fighting to stay out of strife, listen to me, you are living in hell. A lot of you have had so many hellacious situations happen in your life that shouldn't have never happened to you, but it happened to you because of your lack of knowledge and you got into arguments and fights trying to defend yourself and you opened doors for the enemy to be able to attack you and he shouldn't have never been able to attack you. But you, were, you, you had to be right. Come on. You had to defend yourself or you was hurt and you wanted to get... Come on. I, got, I knew it was some of y'all in there. You want to get back at him. And boy, Brenda used to wear me out. Oh my God. Because I, I had such a a spirit of dealing with the area of, I guess we would call it anger or, well, or get it, into right. strife. <laughs> exactly what you call You know, because I had, you know, when you're in my position, you've got so many people come and try to take advantage of you, and, and, and I've had so many people do us wrong, and I, I just had to, I had to, I, I had to fight myself all the time to be able to, to uh, try to control myself, but I wasn't successful all the time. And Brenda would always throw this at me, like, Phil, you gotta be bigger than them. 
well, I don't want to be bigger. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to be bigger. I want to I wanna get into some contention with them. I want to I wanna fight. I want to argue. I want to prove myself. Come on, I'm talking to, I know all of y'all in here. You know, Brenda, this is one of those messages that you know you're talking to everybody. All you watching by the internet, watching by television, we're talking to everybody. And you know what? Nobody is going to win in life. And you know, you young people, when you understand this here, you'll, be, you'll be save yourself a lot of problems down the road to come. Anybody with me right now? So, uh, so look with me. Now, so I want you to write this down. And that is that it's easy to get into conflict. What does it do? It's easy to do what? To get into conflict. With someone you disagree with. Yes. And, and so it's easy to get into conflict with someone you disagree with. And, and this allows the spirit of strife to come into your life. When you get into disagreement with somebody, it opens the door for you to allow strife to come in. Now, I'm, I'm just saying, for me, I've had to learn how to turn and I've had to try to now learn how to walk away. And sometimes, you know, some of you, you didn't lost so much, you need to run away. You need to run when you see that spirit of strife coming. Because listen to me, you can be right and be the one, be right, and, or be the one that was wronged and want to get back, but then you the one going to lose when you get into strife. So the best thing to do is not be a double loser, is to run or get out of that strife of situation. Some of you, some of you, see, <clears throat> this message, we're not going to finish it today. We're going to work on it tonight. And then I'm, I'm sure we're going to probably do it on next Sunday and Sunday night uh, because it's so important. I mean, if you know anybody, you need to get them in because everybody, somebody say everybody. Everybody. Everybody is dealing with this. And you're not going to win in life. I don't care how sanctified you think you are. I don't care how holy you think you are. But if you're in strife, if you've got any contention in your life, you have opened a door for every sort of evil to come into your life. And that's why people are losing out on so many things. So we need to recognize it. We're talking more about what other people have done and what they've done to us, but we have to recognize when that spirit is trying to get on us. When we find ourselves always right. in collisions, right. we're always in disagreement, we're right. always contrary to other people, when we're in variance, when we're in opposition, we need to check ourselves. But because we're, we're, and then you wonder why nobody wanna be around you, why you lose every job, why every relationship just seems to just go down the drain. You need to check yourself out in these different areas. Yes, people wrong you, but you gotta watch yourself that you don't wrong other people because of the attitude or, or that wrong you yourself wrong yourself by getting into strife. By getting into strife. Yeah, right. We wanna we wanna recognize it so we can get it out of the way. When you find disharmony and you're always in disagreement, you wanna check out yourself because there is something that is going wrong to try to keep you from what God has for you and he has great things in store for you. And so when, when the spirit there, because strife is a spirit. It's a spirit. And then when the spirit of strife comes in, there's tension and there's discomfort. Right. So spirit of strife does not just show up and you don't know it ain't there. Now that you've heard the word, I want you to accept Christ in your life. It's the greatest thing that can happen for you. So say this right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I open the door to my heart and receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now, if you did that, you've already, he's in your life. Thank God you have to do nothing else but just open your heart. If you did that, I'm in agreement with you. Write us, call us, email us, uh, text us, or go on uh, at Philip Godot, either Twitter or Facebook and we are getting, being back in contact with you. Love you, praying for you, move forth in your life. Get doctors Phil and Brenda Godot's latest message on marriages that win. They demonstrate the importance of building a strong Christian marriage and how to model a godly relationship for your children and other couples. This is what people are saying about it. First of all, you gotta experience the singleness before you get married. Winning marriages. 
I learned today as being the rib to learn how to be a little bit more softer than I've been. And if people just uh, believe and listen to what Pastor's saying and follow, a lot of marriage will be saved. In my humble opinion, marriage is everything. Marriages that win. Order this series today. Buy it as a gift for a family member and friend. Invest in yourself. Invest in your marriage. Marriages that win. The Nehemiah Christian Academy is now enrolling for the school year. If you are looking for your child to experience an education with Christ-centered curriculum in a small nurturing setting, Nehemiah Christian Academy is for you. We are accepting preschool and kindergarten through second grade students. Come experience our small but intimate and excellent learning academy in a loving family environment. Nehemiah Christian Academy is waiting for you. Come check us out. The Nehemiah Christian Academy is now enrolling for the school year. Boss, building on spiritual substance. Parents and mentors get your child into Calvary Christian Center's Boss Movement. Boss the Movement curriculum and classroom environment is designed to cause change in the behavior of the student as it relates to discipline, risk-taking, personal development, and leadership. It combines teaching with experience to transform the hearts and minds of your children. Your youth will gain confidence, courage, faith, and trust in God as their source of hope. The Boss Movement will help your child to replace negative thinking and behavior habits with positive ones. To learn more about how the Boss Movement can be used as a tool to help train up your child for a brighter and God-anointed future, just log on to our website at calvarychristian.com. Boss, building on spiritual substance. The Love Your Life Conference heads back to California in Sacramento on November 9th. And then, it's FCMI's Leading in These Times in October. That's our two-day conference and workshops to help learn how to lead in ministry and business in the marketplace. And we're already looking ahead to next year to our Church Growth Strategies Conference in February, where Drs. Phil and Brenda Godot share decades of experience on growing a successful and thriving ministry. And then we make a U-turn for our FCMI International Conference July 2017. There's a lot of great things happening this year and 2017. You can find it all on our websites and through social media. We are making a difference in our community. Don't forget, you can always learn more about us on the web. Subscribe to us on YouTube and see the latest videos from Drs. Philip and Brenda Godot. It's easy. I am the God of more than enough. I am a El Shaddai God. I'll bring you back and then I'll lift you up. Just log on to YouTube and type in Philip Godot Ministries and then just click subscribe. The video messages are right there on your screen. And if you're out and about, we also have a smartphone app so you can catch the Godots on the go. The app is easy to find. Just search Calvary Christian Center for both Android and iPhone users. Stay informed, stay connected, and stay encouraged on YouTube and with our amazing app. It's easy to become a partner. Just log on to our website and you'll receive special video messages and updates. Thank you, partners.